Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Timberborn. You're probably wondering what's going on with the UI here. We're just zoomed way out. <laughs> Checking out some uh, hiding the UI and um, checking out some of the layers here. Anyway, last episode we set up a basic, um, basic little beaver town here. This episode we're going to try to uh, thrive, get some more food going, different types of food. Maybe some potatoes. Uh, before they start replanting all these carrots, I think we're going to knock some of these carrots out here. Maybe these as well. And we're going to go for potatoes instead, I think. Plant those in here. Wait till they pull up the rest here. We got a decent food reserve, mostly berries. I want them to eat through the berries. Um, we might have to destroy them somehow. I think they prefer the carrots. Oh, we're in the middle of a drought right now. It's just about over though. I can see the water is starting to get a little bit, a uh, little bit low here. If you, it's sometimes the water kind of fades away here, depending on how zoomed in you are. And then if you hit escape, it kind of reappears. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Uh, we're gonna put in a second farmhouse, I think to help with the food uh, planting because I think we got more fields than they can handle. So we'll stick that maybe right beside the other one here. Some of you suggested have one doing harvesting and one doing planting but I think I'm going to go for planting on both. The reason being um, I watched this one guy's guide and he talked about a lot of things. He gave a lot of tips but uh, one of the things was kind of smoothing out the food production. If you have it just to harvesting as the priority on one or both. They kind of, they'll wait for everything to grow up and they'll harvest it all at, at kind of one go. But if it's set to planting, they'll harvest one, plant one, harvest one, plant one, and it kind of smooths the, the output here. Uh, what do we got here? Gear workshop, lax materials. Are we out of planks? Yep, we gotta get this plank building back on. And maybe pause the gear workshop, or is it even built yet? It's not even built yet. Or is it? No, it's built. Can't tell if it's built. It's kind of gray. Weird. Well, we don't have any power anyway, right now. Uh, we're going to have to build a grill. And we're going to need some more houses so we can get some more beavers. So we'll slow things down here. I might tuck a house uh, over here. Right here. Maybe put a couple in. I feel like I did that last episode, but I think I played a little bit after the recording ended and then decided I'll just leave everything in. I was gonna leave a little bit off camera, but decided not to, so everything will be included for now. Let's get some potatoes in here. Probably have too many carrots being grown, to be honest. Uh, this wood collector here is not doing a whole lot. There's not many trees left here. Are these trees coming in? Oh, pretty well. We got birch for some kind of quick wood, and then we got the maple coming in much slower. Let's make sure you can reach all that. Okay, so our town boundary doesn't get all the way over here. We might need a road through here. Or a stairway so we can get back down. I think a road would be better, though, so they can access over here. I think that's what the issue is. So, destroy, even though this stuff's just kind of growing up. We'll put a road through here. So we get back to this green area here. I've been looking at some of the old, uh, like later game playthroughs as well. I think the goal is pretty much to kind of either fill in these really deep water reservoirs or kind of build your own using dynamite, which comes later. Uh, like to fill in all this deep stuff here, like if we get cut through here and fill this all up, we'd uh, have some pretty long-term growing. I think the droughts could just get worse and worse and worse. Uh, this would be nice because it's pretty close. But uh, let's get them going full speed here. Water's decent. Let's unpause the water. 
Oh, actually everything's full right now, so there's no point having that on right now. The drought is over. One of the tips I saw was relating to these uh, dams here. It's kind of better to... Um, let's see if we can destroy some of these. I mean, they're already built, so it's okay, but if we put a levee across most of these, and then only a dam for some, we'll be able to retain more water. Because the levee, the dams are kind of like half level, so it lets about half of the water through, but a levee doesn't let any through. So if we can seal this up a little bit more, I think we'll be better. So demolish, delete, we'll maybe start from this end. Well, let's just, that beaver's gonna be stranded now. <laughs> let's, let's do one at a time here. Uh, so landscaping, dam, oh, we don't have a levy yet. We have to research that. Luckily we have enough points or we would have been stuck. So yeah, the levee's a solid barrier. Actually, that right there is not, there's no water flowing through that anyway. Yeah, this guy's stuck now until they get this built. So we'll make this high priority. We're kind of low on logs at the moment. But we'll slowly replace that. And these levees are cheaper. They only cost 12 logs versus 20. So I should have done this a little bit differently. And ultimately, my, my levee should be probably over here so that we can retain this water and all this green area here during a drought. Okay, how many beavers do we got? We got 18. We have enough room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times three is 24. So, unconnected building. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta put a road back in there. Lose my voice already. There we go, it's connected again. I'd also like the large water stores, that'd be nice. Uh, 120 research, yeah, we can do that. And then we can start putting them in here to replace these. What does it cost? 20 gears. We don't have any gears yet, I don't think. Because this is off. We don't have any unemployed either, so we better wait till we have more beavers. Our warehouses are full. I think what I'm going to do with the warehouses is specialize them. So that we don't kind of overflow with carrots. They'll put anything in here. And they don't respect the limits, so... If we disallow... All... Allowed... None. And then... We'll allow carrots. So this will be a carrot warehouse. I think we need to empty it first, though. Maybe? Or maybe they'll just use everything out of here until it's all carrots. Uh, but we need some more warehouses. Quite desperately. Uh, we can put a small warehouse right here, maybe. Want some prime growing land? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it up here, actually. It's not as central, but we could... Uh, they're going to have to run around a bit to get to here. Should I do it there? or should I? I'll just do it here, even though it's green area. I think we'll probably get rid of these smaller warehouses later anyway. Because there's a bigger one coming. 80 planks for that large one, holy. Better get some plank production going here. We also need some wind power. Which comes later here. Uh, windmill, 120 research. Yeah, we need some more researchers. We got one unemployed, so... I'm going to start stacking some researchers back here. And we need our road put in here as well, that I just cleared out. So along here... Still gotta destroy some of that stuff first. And we're gonna put a road right here. Back to here. So another researcher. We're gonna be building a lot of these guys, I think. We'll stick that right back. I'm gonna leave room for more housing, so we'll put it back here. Because basically they wake up in the morning, they go to this thing, and they just research for the rest of the day. We have another unemployed, so I'm going to put another polling post beaver in. I think we had the campfire in here last time. That's providing some bonuses here. We're getting... Oh, they're hungry and thirsty. Even though there's tons of food. I think maybe just because they woke up. Yeah, so they're getting a bonus for the campfire here. 
Uh, growth speed, 15%. Does that mean the growth of the beaver? Not quite sure. I see these guys are cutting trees. I'm not quite sure how. Because there's no cutting post right here. Maybe this is reaching? Yeah, let's pause this one and turn this one on. <laughs> They're running a very long way. And we want everything prioritized by haulers because we don't want the harvesters to be doing the, the hauling. Okay, this is now mainly full of berries. That's good, I guess. That's all berries. You know what? I think I wanted carrots, not berries. Anyway, we'll slowly build up the warehouses here. Building is full of berries. Yep, yeah, that's fine, I guess. They're all sleeping. Okay, 345 water. I think we'll be okay for water. Next drought. I think I'm going to clear these berries away. Let's uh, delete them. The reason I don't want any berries anymore is because they don't provide any bonus. So I'd rather them eat them, eat the bonus food instead. If that makes any sense. And soon we'll have potatoes. Uh, oh, 86%. We better grow uh, or build a uh, grill. 25 logs for the grill. I think it would make sense to have the grill over by the potatoes. So we'll put that right there in prime growing area. We're going full speed here. Just, uh, look how fast these beavers are. <laughs> Pretty fast. Pretty fast on full speed. Okay, we got the research rolling in it. Two of them making, doing research now too. Should it help? And what's going on here? Turned off. Let's. Do we have any unemployed beavers yet? Not yet. Got room for 18. I think I'm going to put the rooftop deck in. Rooftop terrace. We'll put it right here. That's going to need a road to reach that. So let's put a road here. That should give him a bonus. What does the rooftop terrace give? It gives, um... Also growth speed. Get some more roads in, back to this back corner. And eventually we'll want to get back here to start collecting metal. Not just yet though. Oh, the potatoes are coming in. This is good. We got two beavers in there, two beavers in there. Got some six children, so we should have some adults pretty soon. Rooftop deck, we'll make that uh, higher priority. Get that in. I think we'll layer, I'll just layer the houses back into this area eventually. Okay, are we doing for food? I think I want some more water storage, maybe. We got close to running out last episode because I was a dummy and I paused the water right before uh, right before the drought happened. <laughs> Not advisable. And someone recommended I put a dam in here, which makes uh, perfect sense because that'll retain this water during a super dry period. Beavers are busy. Uh, we got rid of these berries. I'm gonna get rid of these berries as well. It does require them to do some work to remove all this stuff, but... Get rid of that. And we got lots of room to grow food. That's for sure. I'm not sure when they destroy these whether, we, whether they get some berries out of them or not. I guess I could look at this thing up here. 397. I wonder if they're gonna eventually allow um, allow you to choose 
which um, which food they can eat, like restrict their diets. Just chilling out here. <laughs> On the rooftop deck. Where's the barbecue? <laughs> We're just kind of waiting for everyone to grow up here. Got one unemployed again. Uh, we're out of warehouse space again. We could start stacking these, I think. Mm. What does it take to build the big warehouse? 80 planks. Not enough science points yet for that. 250, okay, we'll wait. It's hard to tell when you're paused or not unless you're looking at something like the fireplace or, or the top right here. Really low on logs though. Maybe we'll uh, unpause this again. Okay. And let's make sure we got log cutting on here. Cut trees. I think this is all. Well, maybe it wasn't set. I don't think it was. I think I. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did that. Uh... Uh, off, not off, yeah, off camera, and then I kind of went, went went back to an earlier save. Okay, so that's better. We got logs coming in now. I think I should have a gathering bench here thing as well, but uh, let's prioritize my haulers. Yep. We'll let them cut here as well. I'll put another cutting thing in there so we can just really start cutting logs. I'm still getting used to where everything is. Lumberjack flag. That there. My priority. We could try to get up on this hill as well. Could put a stairway right here. That's under pathing. Stairs. And then we could build a path over to here. And let them start cutting all these dead trees. This will be gone soon. So will this. We'll try to keep the map oriented this way though. I feel like a drought's going to be coming soon. Uh, this is not helping us anymore. We're going to get rid of that. Get rid of this. And we got a few straggling bushes here. Let's get rid of those. Delete, delete. Oh, they got a lot of stuff to do over here. <laughs> Do we have any potatoes to cook yet? Uh, yeah, we got one potato plus 0.1 of a log gives us four baked potatoes. So they should be getting their baked, baked potato bonus. Grilled potatoes, here we are. We get 30 strength, that's pretty damn good. Okay, I think I need more warehouses, everything is full. Let's do where else here in our, in our prime growing area. Maybe I should s set it back a bit. We'll try. We'll try putting a warehouse on top of a warehouse here in a second. So instead, we're gonna put it set one back because we can't build a stairway. We could build a set stairway side to the side, but. Uh, If we want them to get access to, to a second floor, if I build one on top of the other here. It may not work, so let's, uh, we gotta connect that as well. Oh, where's the opening of this thing? I forgot to look. Right in the middle, okay. Put that there. Beavers are thirsty. Let's turn this on. I don't think they're keeping up. I also heard that it's good to keep a few beavers unemployed because if a beaver dies and they're like, let's say the beaver's a cook and they die, if there's no unemployed beavers to take over, you could go a while without uh, them doing stuff, so good to keep a spare couple of slots around, I think. Okay, we got uh, 23 beavers. We have more... Oh, large mirror, that's why it's... Uh, we got room for one more beaver. 
I think our food reserves are pretty good. So I think I'll put in yet another lodging. Where's housing? Here. Mini lodge. Wait a minute. Mini lodge inhabitants one. A small lodge that fits a single beaver. Is this new? I've never noticed this before. Double lodge. Cost 50 research. Unique to this faction. I'm curious to see what this looks like, so I'm gonna get it. Oh, it's like a little hat. I think this is new. I, I don't remember this before. Hmm. Single beaver. It's not very space efficient because these hold three. Yeah, it's not very space efficient. But for now, we'll just do the uh, regular lodge here. Set back one. And we'll need a stairway or a platform here. I don't even have the platform yet. Jeez. Okay, we'll research that. Put the platform here. And then some roads like this so they can get to the top floor, which isn't really a top floor, but you know what I mean. It's coming along, coming along. How are we doing for planks? 46 planks. This is turned off. I think we should probably turn that on because we'll need... Uh... Is it actually reachable? Is that what's going on? No, it's good. Can't get all the required materials. But now I think it's... What's going on with this building? There it goes. Now it's working. I think we need some more power as well. Let's put in uh, another water wheel here. It won't allow that. Hmm, why not? Not reachable, maybe? We're gonna let, let them step down into here. Keeping an eye on food. Food is good. Water is a little bit low. Why aren't they filling these up? Do we not have enough? Are these all set to priority? No. Prioritized by haulers. Let's turn it around here so we can see what we're doing. Prioritize. Yes, 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 yes. It'd be cool if there's a select all. Double click. Double click select all. And then you can do things like global changes. I think I need another water pump, maybe? We'll keep an eye on this. It's at 380. It seems to be going down. Which means we're not keeping up with the water demands and the drought is coming let's get let's get another pump in there where can we squeeze one in uh, maybe right here it's kind of far away but I think it'll work I think I might take this out let's empty this then we can put a road around the corner here. In fact, I kind of want a road right through here so we have like a t kind of like a town square thing going on. So empty. Doesn't seem to be emptied. There it goes. Maybe. Slowly. And this is not connected, so nothing will happen. So let's uh, path there. If we destroy it, will we lose all the water inside? Probably. Everything else is full. <laughs> okay, that's probably the issue. Okay, maybe we had enough... Let's put some more water storage right here, since we have a little gap. I know I'm going a little bit crazy with the water here, but... And because of this dam, we'll be able to continue to pump water in the drought, but not probably a really bad drought. Okay, this is good enough. Let's remove that so we can put a road in here, so we can get around in this circle a little bit better.
Okay, food reserves look ample. Uh, we're up to three more beavers to come. Okay, this is no longer being used. Let's pause that. Pause this. You know, I'm just gonna delete this for now. Actually, we'll yeah, we'll delete it because it's should really be closer to this batch here. Logs. Jack flag. But we'll pause it right away. After they build it. Because there's nothing to cut here yet. Okay, so that's gone. We'll delete this one. And we should probably cut these dead trees. How are we doing for logs? We're low on logs. Let's actually put... How many beavers do we have? Two spare beavers. Put two lumberjack cutters here and get all this dead stuff. Don't forget to cut your trees. Like I always do. Okay. Perfect. Nothing to cut here as well, so we'll uh, pause this one. And are we growing anything here? What's going on here? We should be growing stuff here. Let's uh, plant, plant some trees. I'll do a uh, birch because I want some logs right away. Little corner. Okay, what other kind of decorations do we have? We got um, the rooftop terrace. The temple comes later. It's been a research. We'll hold off on that. Decorations. We've got the bench. A shrub. Gives aesthetics. Only cost 20. Yeah, let's get some shrubs in there. Shrubs, please. Uh, shrubberies. Let's put a shrubbery here. Where they walk by a lot. And put one up here on the way to the housing. Maybe one over by the water. Comes that drought. We got a lot of carrots. They're not really eating these berries. Warehouses are full again. Let's try to put another warehouse on top here. Okay, but they won't be able to get to it. So that was a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, beavers are happier. Uh, hmm, that was a failed experiment with the warehouse there. Because we can't, I don't think we can put a stairway. Unless they can walk under the platform. Maybe we'll try this, we'll try this. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll put this here. Put a stairway here. That's not gonna work, because there's no, but what about here? Put that there, and then a platform. This is kind of expensive in terms of pl uh, planks, but this is more of an experiment. That should work. They should be able to go underneath. Ultimately, though, I'm going to replace these, I think. Yeah, we do it for planks. 39. Gears are coming in. We're going to lose our power here, so let's think about alternate power sources. The windmill. 120 research points, yes please. And we can build up right away. 20 planks for that sucker. And it has to be connected. So let's put it... I'm going to save that roof for buildings. Uh, these trees are kind of in the way, so let's uh, remove these. This will be my little industrial district, I think. Even though it's prime, prime growing land. We got no power. We're gonna pause these because nothing's gonna happen in there. And we got four unemployed, so we'll stick three in here. We're in the drought, so this is dry. Yeah, if we put a, a levee plus dam here, at least we get a little bit more water. So this green area should push out. Yeah, I want this to be high priority, so we'll... How's our water? 489 food... Or, yeah, we're good for food and water. 
Drought's going to be over pretty soon. High priority this. So yeah, wind power. Ideally, it would be up on this hill. I don't know if you get more power from higher elevation, but... I want to be able to stack a bunch of industrial buildings in here. So maybe we'll put the power... Here. And then do a shaft along here. And then we might shrink the shaft later. This is only one log, so it's pretty cheap to make. So as we put more industrial buildings in, we can kind of delete these, move them along. Okay, what's going on here? This building isn't connected to any district by paths. So we got to draw a path on top of this thing, which is kind of funny, but it requires it, and it's still not good. This building's, oh yeah, it's also here. We need. There we go. Okay. This is no longer in use. We'll get rid of that. Our water is full. That's good to see, and I think. We can probably pause this water pump. So we'll get a little bit of wind power here. Did we get those shrubberies in? Let's see how our beavers are doing. Rooftop Terrace hasn't visited that in a while. Uh, roof. Oh yeah, we gotta put some roofs in. Let's see here, decoration, a roof, one by one, only cost 60 research, let's do that. Then we'll put some token roofs in here, so when they run by, they should be able to see that roof, and maybe put another one over here, so they, when they run by here they can see a roof. Okay, the drought's over. I think we're good, we're, I think we're good for food and water. This is not growing. 80%, doesn't look like it's 80%. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much done here, so we're going to pause, delete one of these. This beaver's thirsty. Go drink. You got plenty of water. These are all full. We could almost like, what's going on with this one? It's paused because there's nothing to do. We'll pause that one as well. These are not very space efficient, so we'll... These only hold 30, I think, and the big ones hold 300. But we need more gears. Okay, we got our power back. Let's turn these back on. Got a lot of unemployed beavers. Let's put some more power maybe over here. We can put one back here. It's facing the wrong way, though. And then a power shaft into here. Okay, well being hit nine. Probably from the roof, yeah. Nice. What does the roof do? The roof does... Working speed plus five, that's pretty good. I think we can add more population, to be honest. Uh, where should we stack it? Stack it and pack it. I think I might try to get the big uh, housing. Requires 20 logs. Oh, it's cheap. 150 research. Yeah, we can do that. Double decker. What about the big, big one? 35 logs. Triple lodge. 250 research. Okay, we can't do that yet. Oops. Let's put in a big... Oh, this is only accessible from the second floor. Which might be ideal if we do this. Uh, they need to be able to get up into that roof. Which will be okay if we do this. Stairs right here. And a path right here. Up here, and then in there. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see how we're vertically doing here. Uh, I like that view. That's a cool view. 
Control H, hide everything. Looks good. These trees are coming in. I think we can start cutting them. Go a bit more top view here. Let's turn this this one on. And let's get some more haulers. And you know what? We can turn two of these on. There's quite a few trees to cut now. Looking good. Looking good. Let's... Well, wait till this all grows up before we do this one. I think since we have so many unemployed, we can start stacking more researchers in. Science. Uh, stick that right there. And I'm going to put um, probably another road back here. Another kind of alleyway, because we'll stack in another researcher back to back. Yeah, let's make this stairway high priority. Can't get all the required materials. Yeah, we're out of planks. We need more plank production. That's pretty much a given here. So, we are going to delete these shafts that we just built. And we'll put in another plank maker. Lumber mill makes planks from logs. Yes, please. Right there. Higher priority. Highest priority. Sure. Okay, warehouses are full again. I think I might need to do some more specialization here. How do we get rid of these berries? God. <laughs> How do we get rid of the berries? I don't want them. Hmm. Let's allow all here. I think that... Was that the one I had specialized? Oh, I did set it to carrots originally. Okay, good. That's fine. I think we're just going to need some more warehouses here. Maybe we can go for the big one? It's very plank heavy. I hate putting warehouses on fertile land, so we'll maybe put them back here. It means they have to run all the way back here to do this, to load these. It's not very efficient. It should be more central. Hmm. This road isn't helping us much. <laughs> Free up some land there. I think I'll put it uh, back here for now. I think if they can't... If their local storage is full and their warehouses are full, I think they stop making stuff. Three unemployed. That's, uh, more haulers, please. Uh, this is, needs, I think this needs a road along here. Yeah, that's built, that's good. So, our pop should go up to 36 now. Delete this. That's all gone. Pretty much out of logs. I think I'll unpause this as well. All those lumberjacks going. Building lax workers. Okay, we'll take a few off the trading post, falling post. Get our unemployed up to one again. Beavers are dying of old age. And our water's a little bit low, so let's turn this on. Get all these full again. Large water tank. Gear heavy. Okay, let's fix this road. It's kind of bothering me. I'm going to delete this. And we'll delete. I guess we could do it over to here. And this can go there for now. A little bit better. Not great, but a little bit better. We're swimming in carrots. Our warehouses are just full of berries. I don't know how we're going to get rid of them. Let's take them off, all warehouses. 
Maybe they'll throw them on the ground and they'll rot. <laughs> bad, ch bad chance, but... Oh, I just checked berries there. This is the carrot warehouse. Okay. And then back here and check berries. No berries allowed in here. If we let all the carrots run down to zero, they'd probably start eating the berries, but... I'm not quite sure what the district center... I mean, it says they transport goods when the warehouses are idle. Okay, we got more uh, science ready. What can we do here? Double platform. The floodgate. The big housing. Irrigation tower, depth marker. Got lots of stuff here. Builder's hut. Uh, it's not critical yet, I don't think. Let's go for big storage. Research that. And we have not enough planks yet to build it. But it can hold... A thousand versus two hundred, so that's quite a bit more space efficient. It's a bigger building, but... I think we're stuck with these berries forever. <laughs> Unless we stop growing all the other food, let them eat all the berries. Jeez. Oh well. This is probably safe to turn on. We got no unemployed, so let's remove a few of these guys. Whoa. A lot, of, a lot of beavers are dying. I think I should start thinking about building the uh, thing here. Block this off. Ultimately, we could go over here and block this off and try to reclaim all this, but... Uh, well, I think a little bit small before we start thinking too big here. And we need to get down there. That's the other thing. Let's put a road here. Now, how can we get down there? I have to build some stairs down here so they can get in here. They might be able to just build a little levee. Where's a good place to start the levee? Right here? Right here? Can they build that? I think they can reach down to build stuff? Oh yeah, there they go. Okay, so levee... We want the levee all the way across. And they won't be able to step down to build this other stuff, so we'll have to build a temporary stairway, I think. Uh, we could let them swim down. <laughs> Is this buildable? Let's build some stairs right here. That way they should be able to build these stairs, build all this first level. That'll trap all this water in here and that should expand our green area a little bit. Have we filled up our population? Yep. Uh, do we want more beavers? We got lots of food. We got a decent amount of water. Let's turn this one on. Unemployed five. Wow, the unemployed keeps fluctuating quite a bit. Yeah, I think we need some more tree growing. Okay, they're chopping these ones down. These guys are pretty much done chopping. So let's pause this one. Pause this one. And we got quite a few trees here, so maybe... I should start planting some more, really. Let's put in maple, lots and lots of maple. We'll go all the way over to here. Like how far can he reach? Only to here, okay. So this is kind of not helping us. Let's cancel this. 
We'll do a little bit of birch just in case we get some droughts that are really long. And the rest will be maple. And how far can he reach? Right into here, so we'll do maple here. And then another woodcutter. Right here. Okay. They got their projects. Seven unemployed. Jeez. Let's get some more research going. Because there's some expensive research stuff like monuments that come up. Labor monument. Um, actually, the beaver statue is pretty damn good. There's a special bonus for that. Let's see. Beaver statue gives working speed plus 5% in it, like a radius. So maybe not spectacular, but... Okay, we can probably build up another warehouse as well. On our prime growing land? Uh, okay. Not advisable. I'm gonna start growing some wheat as well. Wheat in this little section here. There's apparently a ratio for the food. A 2 to 2 to 1. Carrot to potato to wheat ratio. So we could probably use more potatoes. Okay, this uh, coming along. 80 planks. So many planks for this thing. Levy's coming in well. Can we afford more population? Now, it's three food per beaver per day. So, um, roughly 30, 60, 90, about 100 and a bit of food per day. So we got enough food for 11 days-ish. And water, I think they drink the same amount of water, so we definitely need more water storage. Let's build a big water tank. 20 gears, do we have 20 gears yet? Yeah, we got lots of gears. What's the ratio on gears? One to one. Okay. Deleting some water. Hopefully a drought doesn't come right this second. We're gonna delete. Yes. Goodbye water, goodbye water. And we're gonna put a big one in here. Boom. We need a road to get in there. So, put a road right here. We'll make this high priority. Kinda wanna get that in there. Looking good. Unemployed five. Three more in here, and I'm going to put some more science in. Since we can afford it. They're probably not all getting the rooftop deck. Bonus. I'll slowly retire these here. Sh should have really emptied them first, but... Uh this going? Zero planks. We'll get around to it. Is it accessible? Yep, it's accessible. Once this is in, I'll retire some of these smaller warehouses. Now for the wheat, we need some other food bits. We need the grist mill, 60 horsepower, 180 research. We can research that. And where's the opening for that? Right there. If we take these shafts that we can fit it there. I kind of hemmed myself in here. But we could connect power around the corner. Hmm. How should we do this? I think I'll get rid of these. Delete. 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 
and then put the flower building grinder right here. It's not allowing it. So what's wrong here? Is the windmill in the way? I think the windmill might be in the way. Hmm. I think it needs some radius around it. We could put it here, though. Uh, not really, because we need to... Hmm. That was okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> that doesn't work. Um, hmm. Can we do these power connections out both ends? Let's see here. Power. Is there only one input output for this thing? Power connection is blocked. It's only out that one side. Okay. We could do some kind of T though. Intersection. What if we do something like this? So here comes the drought. Okay, I'm kind of new to the using these things, so... If we do it like that... We can fit another building in there, and then we can put another building in. Oh yeah, this will work. Okay, let's do this. Power shaft here. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's just build another plank building thing, because I think I'm going to need it. Plank building... Lumber mill to, to pass the power through, and then the grist mill here. Let's turn things around here so we can see what we're doing, maybe. Right there? Now they're not going to be able to get back there to build the power shaft, so I think I have to put the power shaft in first. Shaft right there. Okay, I think that'll work. Hopefully they build this one first. We'll make this high priority. There's no access from the back here. Okay, we got a decent amount of water piled away. The drought is coming, so let's... Uh, can we put another big, big water thing in? 20 gears. We could... How many beavers do we have? 36. I think we need more water. Oh no, we'll, we'll be able to pump water during the drought because we've got this water here. And soon we'll have some more water in here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So that's, that's built. We'll build this. Employ three. Let's put another... Oh, that... This thing's all busy now. Okay. Oh, prioritize building by haulers. No one's ever built this yet. Planks 80. Let's get this built next. And then the grist mill. Now we can put that here safely. Or here, right by the road. And we can connect other power buildings to that. Should be all good. I think there's something wrong with planks here. Can they not get to the planks? Oh, no, there they go. There they go. It's all coming together now. It's coming together. I need to leave enough room for my power, but we can also do power across the river and do a power district over here. More power buildings. We're going to need more water power eventually. We kind of want a mix of power for when the drought happens or we're going to lose our water power. Two unemployed. Uh, should we do the beaver statue? 500. Oh, we can't do it yet. Okay. Fine. We we'll do the bench. I think we'll save our research. Metal. Scavenger flag. Yeah, I don't think we can do that yet. We should think about getting over there, though. Over here. Let's see how far our road will reach. Let's go put a road as far as we can go. Can we start from the back here? And we'll click on the distribution center. How far can we get? Okay, this is the range. So I might move my district center. 
Let's see. I'm thinking of moving it over to this corner. Now we might lose some stuff here, but let's, let's see. Delete. It's free to build this thing, I think. So district center gone. Scary. District center here. Now where's our range? Okay, this is the end here. Hmm. Well, they're still getting over here, though. So that's okay. I don't think they can get to here anymore. But now, can they reach here? They can now reach here. Okay, so let's research. Metal scavenger flag. Put that here, and we can start grabbing this metal. And then we can move our district center back. Once we have this, we don't need to be there anymore. So we'll just slowly accumulate that. Can we reach this? This construction is too far. Okay. Maybe we can move this slightly over a bit more. Okay, we'll try this again. Delete. District center. Where the heck are you? You are... Here. Maybe we'll move you over slightly. And then we can reach... Here? Not quite, no. Only to here. Okay, that's fine. We'll make more districts later, but not just yet. Perfect. Metal's coming in. Okay, what's, what's lacking materials here? We have no... Potatoes. So, how are we doing for drought? Uh, this is working pretty well. I think we're going to delete some carrots here. And go for more potatoes. So, let's delete... Delete food, separate room, clear planting area. Oh, can we do that? That's even better. And then we'll make sure there's potatoes in here instead. Nope. Maybe not. Potatoes? Won't let me select here because there's. Oh, there's plants in the way. Okay. Uh, cancel. We have to delete these first. Delete these. I think that'll be a decent ratio because we got carrots here plus these carrots. I think it'll be kind of one to one. Roughly speaking. Prioritized by haulers. Gotta make sure this is clicked on everything. Prioritized by haulers. Gosh. I think I'm going to delete this double decker here because we got this big warehouse. So delete, empty, then delete. Empty. We'll get these ones emptied and then we'll put another double warehouse in there. Big warehouse. If we can afford it. Big warehouse, uh, 80 planks. Yeah, we got lot, lots of planks. We have no power though. Why is the wind not blowing? We got no wind in the drought and no. It's kind of rough. Allowed none. Allowed none. That's overkill. Is this thing empty? Past these. These are empty. Delete. Delete. And we can delete all this stuff here. Delete. Click again to get up here. I think I have to change the... How do we delete this? Delete. Um, platform. How do I go up a level? What's this? Hmm. Hmm? Can't delete. There's, there's a way to go up a level. Alt? Mouse wheel? There we go. Maybe. Platform, platform, path, delete path. It's kind of on a lower Z level. And just to be sure, are we paused? Just to be sure, we'll uh, do delete 
buildings. Oh, destroy. Okay, that'll work. Delete this road. I wish you could delete from here. Oh, you can. <laughs> Never mind. Big storage going in here. We could put one in between, in theory, on top. Logs and planks, logs and planks. Uh, we're, out of, we're out of logs. Jeez. It's because we can't reach here anymore. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of bad. I think I might have to move my dis district building back over. For now. Uh. Unless we build a road back here, maybe tuck it back in here. Let's try this. Put a road here. Oh, that's not going to fit in there. We'll try to tuck it in here somewhere. Delete. And put it there. Now, now what can we reach? Nope. <laughs> That's the worst of all the worlds. Okay, delete. Put it back where it was. Actually, where the heck was it? I thought it was here. Where the heck was it before? Anyway, we'll put it here for now. Is that going to be good enough to reach over? Where the heck was it before? Right here, maybe? Can't remember. Okay, that's reachable. I guess we'll pause this for now. We don't need the metal right now anyway. On my first playthrough it worked when I was trying this, moving this thing. But I hadn't expanded over this far. Okay, we're still lacking materials here. Okay, are they cutting these logs down? Should be. Prioritize my holder. Yes, yes, yes. Do I have set this? I probably have. Don't have this set to cut. No, I don't. Oh, game. Okay, that'll fix that. Okay, same here. And here. Okay. Now that they're gonna cut the trees, that's much better. Okay. And what is with the wind? Is there just no wind during a drought? There has been in the past. I guess we can pause these. Since we've got no power. I want shift click so I can turn these all off at once. How are we doing? Water, food, good. Happy little beavers. Wood's finally coming in. That uh, set trees to be cut thing always gets me. Seems so obvious, but easy to forget. You know, we could plant some trees here maybe, if we can reach them. Okay. The drought has ended. Come on, water. I'm going to turn these on preemptively because I know the water is going to be flowing in here in a second. And I think there's something wrong with my wind power. I haven't seen the wind blow, blow in a long time. This might be some kind of bug or maybe it needs some more clearance. Come on, water, where are you? See it flowing. Here it comes. It is back in action. Okay, I need a way down into the water so we can build more power. More water power right here. Okay, we're gonna build a stairway down. 
there we go in here. Okay, priority. And then I think they can run over here and build this. Grist mill, uh, any flour available? Not being cut yet. They'll get to it. They're getting all the carrots. We could prioritize uh, wheat though. I shouldn't though, because we can we can't even cook it yet, so. Okay, all our water is full. Let's pause the pump. And I'm gonna wrap things up here, I think, because we're over the one hour mark. Things are looking good, I think. Uh, we're gonna finish this project off next episode. Save a little bit more water. And maybe I'll start thinking about a second district. Maybe just a small one, just to suck up all this metal and then we can shut it down. Don't know a whole lot about districts yet. Um, Except I know I need three buildings to do them, to kind of st store, like, move some materials into them. But, uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Love to hear your comments and suggestions and recommendations. I don't mind backseat driving, because I'm new to the game. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.